Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my name is Jan and I love makeup. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. Obviously, today's video is episode 116 in the Throwback Thursday series I'm doing using old makeup. Not oogie old, just not talked about old. And today's palette of choice is the Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. I have decluttered quite a bit of my Dominique Cosmetics palettes simply because I wasn't using them and somebody should. If memory serves, these are all absolutely fantastic. So I really wanted to play with this today. I actually had picked out a couple other palettes thinking I hadn't used them in a while. Um, but here we are once again with the I don't get paid for thinking, thank goodness, because I had used them. So I decided on this one. It's going to be a pretty simple look, I think, but I'm very excited for it. So I am going to just get right into it. Okay, before I scoot you in, I'm definitely going to use this purple shade called Double Shaw. I don't remember if I've ever used it before. It doesn't look very used, as neither does the green one. I wonder what that's about. So maybe I'll use both of those. I'm not sure. And the shimmer I was looking at is this one right here called Macchiato in the middle. It's nice and light and should go with the mattes. Right. I'm going to take my Refer 14 Max. I've used it once already but I've cleaned it off. And I'm gonna dip into Double Shot and tuck these hairs behind my ears. And that is gonna go out here. And then, of course, up into my crease slash transition. That's the way I typically do my eyeshadows. I don't know, I don't know. We'll see. I did prime my eyes the way I normally do. Um, again, with the NARS Soft Matte Concealer below my brow and the Milani Eye Primer from my lash line up to my brow. That's pretty. Let's see if I can build it up. I only went in for like one little dip. Okay. That's really pretty. I like it. I'm going to clean off most of the eyeshadow from this brush and just uh, swoop the purple through the inner portion of the transition area. I didn't wipe off all of it, but pretty much the majority of it. So we can just get a light mm, dusting, if you will, of that purple shade. I can always add more if I need to, but I don't think I will. Now I'm going back into the purple just to adjust the shape a little bit. I don't know if it's just what I do or if I'm just not sure, but I typically start lower than I am end up just to be sure I don't go too crazy too early. Maybe, I don't know. But I think this is looking pretty good. That needs to be blended better on the edge there. I'll work on that in a minute. Let's go into the shimmer. So on my Singe Beauty E01, we're gonna go into the shimmer shade I picked out, which we call Macchiato. And that. Yeah, that's a good pairing, right?
That's pretty cute. Can I do just two eyeshadows and be done? I think I can because I was really thinking about putting that green uh, cold brew shade on my lower lash line, you know, kind of dark up against my lashes and then blow it out. I think I'm going to do that. I have to fix that. That is not of the good. So what do I want to do? I'm going to grab my little Blend Bunny B2 brush and the purple shade and holding it at the very end of the handle. Just super gently blending over the edge. I have a feeling, oh, okay, it's working. Let's dip into the like cream colored shade called Vanilla Creme. Okay, I think it still qualifies as like two shades because I could have used my face powder to do that. That's pretty much it. I'm going to build up the shimmer shade and blend it into the double shot. And that's gonna be the eye look. So I'll go do that. My face, I'm going to put the green on the lower lash line and then I'll come back and show you the finished look and that'll wrap up uh, Throwback Thursday 6 116 super easy all right i'm back and this is the finished look let me scooch in one up close reconnoiter at the eyes okay um i like the palette i think the quality is lovely i'm glad that i still have it i don't know how many declutters this will survive. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not like super inspiring to play with. I mean, I like this look. I'm excited to wear it all day, but I did kind of jazz it up with some other products. So though I like it, the quality is fantastic. And I like the look. I'm not sure how long I'll keep it. So that pretty much wraps up episode 116, Done and Dusted, Throwback Thursday. If you're wondering what else is on my face, I will tell you now, if you don't care. Hopefully I'll see you in my next video, but I played again with face stuff. My uh, foundation and concealer are the Sephora Best Skin Ever, as well as the Pure 401 Love Your Selfie as my concealer. Did I say concealer when I meant foundation? Oh, I don't know. I did line my waterline with the ColourPop Multi-Chrome Liner in Power Trip. It does like a greenish blue purple flip. So pretty. Uh, contour is Kevin Aqua. I'm just using it up, going back and forth between the three that I like. My bronzer is the Rem Beauty in Blazed. That was my bronzer today. I haven't used it a whole lot, but uh, I do like it. I think it looks really nice on. Um, I just need to get a little bit more tan, I think, for it to be its full glorious self. My blush is the cream blush I picked up from Color Green, and this is in the shade Copper Rose. And then I topped it <laughs> with the NYX Buttermelt Blush in Butter Than Before, which was the Deep Raspberry shade. I can't help it. I just want to play with these. So I have been. My highlight is the Cosmic Beauty Frosting Highlight Trio. I used the pink shade and the yellow shade. I kind of mix them together to tone down a little bit of pink, but also brighten up the pink, I don't know, with the yellow. So that is that. 
earrings are from Nice Rachi. And that's everything. I did use the green shade in the palette on a wet angle brush as kind of a liner for my upper lash line. I like it. I used to do that every single time I did my makeup. And then Susan and I were talking about, you know, wetting eyeshadows. And she said, you know, starting with liner is probably the best bet. And I remembered I used to do this all the time. So yeah, I don't do it if I'm gonna wear false lashes because it just covers it. And because I don't know what it is. I don't understand the like biology of my upper lid, but if I bring any kind of liner out here or in here, like to align my lash line, it ends up down here. Same thing happens with eyeshadow. Like once I've applied it, when I go in to clean up the mess underneath, there's always eyeshadow from that part of my upper lid under my eye. So I don't know what that's about. I don't know if I just like, I don't know. I don't know. I can't see my eyes when they're closed, so <laughs> beats me. I'm going to wrap this up. I'm just being silly and it's sunny out and I need to go outside. So that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully you enjoyed episode 116 in this little back Thursday series. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Either way, I appreciate you hanging out with me today. Be good and remember to be kind to you.